Good morning, Holly. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. With a name like Holly, I mean, automatic, it's a positive because it's like, Holly, that, wow. I mean, there's there's a vibration just by <laughs> saying your name. I like that. Thank you. You are are making waves, and and in 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 a world that it's it's like there's so much going on in it, but Holly is making waves on NBC's The Voice. Do do you see it on your side or feel it? Um, I definitely have started feeling it, especially in my hometown, which is tiny. So everyone, you know, knows everyone, and it's been it's been kind of like a big deal there for sure. So yeah, I'm starting to feel it. A little bit. You, you you gotta tell me how to pronounce your, your town because I mean here here in the Carolinas, I mean it's like uh, people up north call it Lancaster. Down here, you don't say Lancaster, you say Lancaster. So so how do you in your own language say the name of your town? Um, I live in Catlettsburg. Catlettsburg. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. because and, and that's and that's what I love about about the South is that is that each each little g- gathering of people it, it's like we have a city called Wingate and people come down here and say it's Wing Wingate and I'm going it's not Wingate it's Wingate and so that that that's what right. I love about the South is that it, it's the culture. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone has their own way for sure. Yeah. I, I before we even jump into anything, I got to tell you, I got to thank you from the from really my whole heart and soul that you are a caregiver for adults and 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 that you allow them to sing and be the performer and 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 that that takes a special heart, girl. Oh yeah, I love it. Like probably more than they do. So <laughs> it's yeah, it's so much fun for me. Now, I being, appreciate that being out there on the front line because I'm on the front line as well. I'm I'm at a grocery store. I realize I'm not doing what you're doing, but I'm at a grocery store. How do you make it through? Okay. Uh, you know, because you can't let COVID consume your mind, body, and soul. You you've got a, you've got a job and a mission and a calling to do. Mm-hmm. I think um, just knowing that it's a really important thing that they have to have. You know, someone so you know, being vaccinated for me is a big thing. And um, just really knowing that you have to do it no matter what, you know, no matter which front line, like a grocery store is so important too. It's just like, you got to be, you got to be there. It's something that can't be, you can't like have a machine do it. You can't really have like someone, something that isn't a person. So just, just knowing that it has to be done is kind of enough for me to to be ready to get up and do it every day. Have you have you noticed that people are more grateful about life due to all of this? Because I mean, when when I mean, because I swear we've all gone through a change and it's happened so quickly. Yeah, I really think so because I mean, I don't know. I feel like people are definitely valuing their time together more, mm-hmm. um, and also at home, you know, finding new hobbies or like new things to do. Like for me, I really got into you know, playing piano and um, like getting my craft better when I was at home. So I do, I feel like not really thankful for COVID, but, um, you know, thankful for the time spent with, you know, family and just being able to kind of come out of the world a little bit and just spend time at home and you know, to really be thankful for the things that you have. That's interesting you say that because, I mean, after after things started opening up here in the Carolinas and stuff like that, I wrote in my daily writing about how I yearned for that time because I was with my wife all the time and I needed to be with her even more. And and so because of, of, of the, this generation, she she retired and now I get to be with her all over again. It's like there, there are things that it, you, you, sometimes people say you have to watch out what you ask for. Well, I, I'm grateful and I'm grateful that I found out during COVID that my wife is my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I feel that because I don't know, like, I feel like things are just crazy and, you know, it's, it's unreal to be able to have like time at home with your family like Mm -hmm. that, you know? So, um, yeah, I feel like that's definitely a positive and all of the negativity that's come from this is just being able to have that time. And even if, you know, things are opening up, we can always like look back on it and be thankful for it. 
All right, we have to have a heart to heart, Holly, and and the reason why is because uh, I I work for a movie promotion company, and and one of the things that that they do, they'll they'll send me to a, an adult uh, assisted living, and and I remember walking in and they were jamming out to Cardi B and Bruno Mars, and I said, what is going on here? And she told me, and this changed my life forever. And please tell me if 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 she was wrong. She said the mind doesn't realize it's getting old; only the body is getting old. Do you believe that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like some of the people that I work with are definitely, you know, still in their mind kids and they, they love to do, you know, like stuff that maybe I would do with my daughter. And I don't know, I think that's pretty accurate because like, you'll see people that are at a really old age doing so much stuff. Just, I think it is like a mindset and you just you can stay young you know, in your mind. Well, I, I, I love it when the older generation hears baby got back and they start dancing. Oh yeah. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> and, and we dance to all kinds of stuff. <laughs> one, one of the things that, that I, I guess this nation is starting to grow into, but, but they still haven't really embraced it as much as they should. A caregiver, you, you guys are almost like the silent angels. And I wish people would give you guys more credit for what you guys do. Because my, my sister has been my, my mom's caregiver, my brother's caregiver, and my father's caregiver. And, and all I can do is just talk and talk and talk and let her speak and let, have somebody listening. What about you? I mean, you, you, where do you go to find your, your peace? Um, I guess just, you know, at home and, um, my fiance is, he does the same work too. So, um, you know, we, we talk about it at home and stuff, but, um, for me really just like my kids and music kind of, you know, take me out of, I guess the, the workflow or that, you know, cause it can get stressful for mm-hmm. sure. And mm-hmm. You just kind of try to leave it, leave it there, not really, you know, bring it home with you and and think about it or, you know, worry about them and stuff. But I mean, it's the most rewarding job I've ever had. I love it. So well, much. And, and the human body does things that, that shocks most people, but you're going, eh, let's go, let's go clean it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it took me a while, but you know, I've been doing it for like six and a half years now or seven. So now nothing really phases me at all. And I think having kids has helped with that too because <laughs> when you have little kids, you're like, yeah, I don't know what this is on my hands, but it's fine. You, you create musically with Seth as well, but what is it like for you to be on The Voice as a solo performer? Um, It's it's a big deal for me. You know, like I've always been a singer, but then with him, we, we did the duo thing for a while. Um, And, you know, going back to COVID, like, that's really where I think I've earned my, my chops in like piano and well, I haven't played piano on the show yet, but I hope to, but, um, singing, you know, I, I spent a lot of time working on my, my solo voice and, um, yeah, it's, it's been great. And it's, it's been really fun to, to go through, you know, different songs and learn them and, just do it myself it's it's been really cool i i gotta give you a compliment on something here in the way that i'm a voiceover actor as well as a person on the radio and stuff like that you speak perfectly in tune and and i mean that with with (laughs) with, i mean from a creative heart to another creative heart you speak very in tune well thank you that's (laughs) Uh, that's really nice. I've never heard that before. I it, appreciate it. Well, that, that's one of those things where you, when you're uh, bumping and grinding with people and stuff like that, and, and you're going, I wonder why I, I don't feel comfortable with them. Listen to their voice. I bet they're out of tune. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Because if you sang uh, out of tune, I'd be tuning away. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be here if I did that, I guess. <laughs> Holly, please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always, always going to be open for you. Awesome. That sounds good. I was I was just in Charlotte the other day at the airport. <gasps> you were it's a beautiful town. Oh my god. How'd, yep. <laughs> how'd you like that big old crowded airport? That's one of the biggest ones in the country. Oh yeah, it's it's my connecting flight every time and um I always have to go like all the way across it in like 40 minutes. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> I never really get to stop, but <laughs> it's basically me running through Charlotte every time I'm there, but I love it. And I swear it takes like hours to get out there to go to the main runway. It's like, come on, how much driving are we going to do on this right? airplane? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Same. Yeah. It's hilarious, but I, I love it there. Everyone's always super nice and it's beautiful. Like it's very clean and oh, stuff. So, yeah. 
<laughs> well, you be brilliant. Well, thank you. You be brilliant today, okay? All right. You too. Have a great day. Thank you.